Hi guys, welcome back. Um, so I've just finished the project for last week. Um, I should have posted on Saturday, but um, it's a bit late. Anyways, so um, this is a project just to get me um, improving my JavaScript skills. And it was an opportunity for me to try out um, a front end web framework, which I had never tried out, which is Svelte. And within the JavaScript community, people have been raving about Svelte and how it's better than um, Vue.js and React. And my honest opinion is that it's way easier than Vue and React, just my honest opinion. So I just wanted to try out a project building it. So you can still build the same project with, um, with Vue and React. I just found Svelte much, much more easier. Now there were some pitfalls, which is why it took me a bit longer than usual, um, is that TypeScript, although TypeScript is a subset of uh, JavaScript, TypeScript isn't, um, it isn't a substitute for JavaScript. What I mean for, by that is that you can't just save files as either TypeScript or JavaScript and then use them interchangeably, which is the mistake I was making as I was coding, which is that I'd be coding in JavaScript and then I'd save the files as a TypeScript file. Um, and the two are not interchangeable. So TypeScript is um, it's a subset of JavaScript, but they're not interchangeable, right? So uh, basically what happens is when you code in TypeScript is then compiled into JavaScript code. So don't make the same mistake I made where you install TypeScript while you're trying to um, write in JavaScript. So um, why did I build this app? So the thing with Google reviews is that a lot of them sometimes are bought and um, they're not really genuine. And for someone who's trying to get an honest opinion about um, their product to their customers and they want the customer's feedback, this review app um, is what you can add to your email. So you can email it to your clients, get them to write a review. And then once you have... Um, at least, you know, 10 reviews, you start sending them out to clients so they can see or potential clients or leads so that they can see um, what other people are saying about your product, right? So you can uh, even add it to a business website, right? So I've done the portfolio, my portfolio website. You can also add this to it. That's also possible. Um, and then uh, in terms of design, I did not design this. This is um, designed by someone else online. Um, you know, as you know, I have poor design skills. My design skills need deliverance. So essentially this wasn't me designing this. Um, it was someone else. I tried to change the design a bit, but it was just awful. And um, it was a poor attempt. I, I don't want to blind you guys by showing you it was terrible. Anyway, so you've coded it in JavaScript. You've now um, used Svelte as your front end. You're going to host it on your local host or um, you can host it on uh, versal.host, you could use that. Um, but for now, I was just temporarily hosting it um, on the local host, right? And so to get it, to get this uh, local host, you just uh, type npm run dev, right? So npm run dev, that will um, access this local host while you code and you get, um, you get this um, on your local host. And another thing to remember is npm run build, so basically npm run build combines all your code into one javascript document um, in case you want to send it to someone else to copy so they'll just first thing first we've talked about the design you can have your own design i just like these colors um, you give a rating uh, and then they get to type and so this button is disabled as, until um, 10 characters or more are provided so 10 characters or more are then provided by someone and then as you send as you can see, it sort of um, slides onto the front page, right? And then as you delete, it slowly fades away, right? And then you get a ratings average, which is pretty cool. So uh, as you get good ratings, um, you know, this number goes up and then it counts the number of reviews for you. So you don't have to do that. You don't have to do the average rating um, calculation on your own. That's also pretty cool. Um, another feature that I didn't add, but which makes this a little bit different to like a Django where you have a back end is adding a um, approval feature. Cause sometimes, you know, people give uh, reviews just for the sake of giving reviews and you want to remove them. But um, at the same time, the good thing about this, well, I don't know, you know, how to manage um, spam and bad reviews. And at the same time, not suppressing legitimate bad reviews. I haven't quite figured that out. Um, hopefully you will and, um, Hopefully you build your own JavaScript project, um, try out uh, Svelte, try out Vue.js, try out React and see what you like. Thanks again.